This is city number six, which is very, very late to the game. But what we can now do is swap in this tile. Already, that's a plus two hands up, but it will be plus five when that commercial hub is done, which is already pretty cool. And I can immediately bring my builder to that hill and we can look to chop it out using my Pantheon, which gives me 25% bonus production. This is where we see the Pantheon really starting to kick into gear now. Munich is 10 population. Excellent. That is another district. The dam is almost ready we get 90 production needed we're gonna get 70 that boosted is about what would 25 percent of 70 be but 17 and a half so we should have maybe one or two turns more of this hansa before it's complete oh slightly less because we're now working a less productive tile but that is really useful look at that oh i love it we are probably going to go into a dark edge by the way we haven't really been going for era score but that's okay going dark gold gar dark gold like that gives you heroic ages and we like like that this aqueduct is just made oh petra give me six culture it's not finished but it doesn't need to be and the hands is now plus six which means it's giving me 12 production i love it get these workshops rocking world congress time now i know that there are two mercantile city states and that's more than anything else i don't know anything about the rest of the world but trade routes to mercantile city states or trade city states i'm just gonna go through it and i would love it if we could build units quicker it tends to be the one that people go for i've got production so that works really well for me actually look we we actually won both of that so we did get two points that's an era score for a really good commercial hub and this is now plus 11 plus 11 plus 8 because the dam is now finished oh the fidget spinner it's looking brilliant this is actually going to be i think a plus 14 industrial zone when it's done <laughs> that is rather nonsensical i love it i want to make sure that we get bi sheng and then the next engineer before the end of the era because if there are two engineers left and the medieval era ends then one will effectively get skipped what the game does is if a great person is taken the game looks at the era and goes okay it's the medieval era i'll give you another medieval era engineer so even if the last medieval era engineer hasn't been taken before the era ends it doesn't matter because they've already loaded in if this goes into the renaissance era and then b sheng would be taken we'd miss out on a Seador or imatep it would go straight to renaissance era engineers so we want to earn this one and the next one so actually thinking about whether or not I go for some industrial zone logistics I wouldn't normally do this in the capital again I wouldn't normally do this how many times am I going to say that in one game but that project would give me a huge chunk of engineering points I could run it twice it would get me some good era score maybe maybe we'll get a normal edge you, you never know all right this settler goes on the way I want to put my harbor down that would be a really nice thing to do I'll take one industrial zone logistics project in this city then we'll make sure that works it nicely and then because Liang will have finished I'll start work on a builder afterwards ulm is growing hands up is complete production in the city already up to 13. it's so good how quickly these cities are going to come online there's the aid request two diplomacy points 100 diplo favor all for the price of one gold pretty good isn't it let's see how much the diplo favor will sell for yeah that that one gold has translated nicely this is something you can really do on single player it's wonderful that is an economy <laughs> you can see i'm working on military tactics my next goal is to head up to industrialization we want that as soon as we can and military tactics is the first step on that route oh i realize i can put chichen itza down counts as there still being a rainforest on that tile which is nice for the purposes of this campus but that's a bunch more culture six in total yeah that's nice and kilwa i'd love to build kilwa ideally that would be awesome but where we're going to build it i don't know we'll work that one out in a little bit this would be a really good test normally i'm getting 11.5 engineering points per turn if i was to now chop down this wood finished the project i've now got 40 so that one project gained me 29 engineering points oh that's a lot anyway bishang beautiful and imatep is up next yes i absolutely would like to run another one of these projects these two projects should earn imatep now the engineer i just took increases my population limit by one for the purposes of building districts so a city can build one more district if i can get mausoleum i can use it twice then we have imatep imatep gives 175 production towards a wonder but it's doubled if it's an ancient or classical era wonder. Now, there's still quite a few of those available, including Halicarnassus. So it's really, really, really important we snab or snag uh, Imhotep as soon as we can. That would be amazing if we can do that. Now, I'm just going to wait with this engineer for now. Another city. This is my seventh. Frankfurt looking nice. Again, going to swap this Hansa tile in immediately because it's the first thing that I want to build. It's already looking like a plus two, but we can get that a lot higher. And we'll work this tile briefly just to give us a little bit of food and to grow the city out 
nicely. I'll work a builder in my Liang city. That's nice six popular, uh, sorry, six charge builder, which is really cool. And another settler. Do I want to settle to the left of Arken? I don't know if I do. I might just use this as farmland. Let's, let's head down here instead. Let's go and settle on this location as quickly as I can. And I would love to know what cartography is. Yes, if I can get my galleys into the sea, we can discover new land. See if there's anywhere else we can settle, not on this continent. It's looking a little bit packed. Oh, Zulu, yeah, that's, um, that wasn't that close to you. I mean, it was, but it's closer to me than you. So don't worry about it. What I didn't want to do that was promise them I was going to stop and then do it anyway, because then you get a huge diplomatic penalty, whereas grievances go away. Divine right. So much better than unholy left. It means that we can now go monarchy, which gives me three era score, because apparently I'm the first person to go tier two. Very strange, but sure. We're going to put Republican legacy back in. You can see that actually three of my cities are no longer happy. So I would like the plus one housing and plus one immunity that gives me. It's very handy. I'd like to put the settler card back in because we're still spamming settlers out and that means we've got a little bit more movement to do. I'm going to put two influence points into my government. I've met every city state that I know at the moment and they all have an, in, uh, an envoy which means 50% influence points. That means I'll get three influence points towards city state envoys. Gives you the bonus. It's a nice little synergy. Serfdom is still a workhorse. Oh it's so good and I'm going to put veterancy in. Reason for veterancy is it gives 30% production towards encampments and harbours and both of those I would like to build very soon. The harbour is going to go in this city, Trier. Let's plonk that harbour in immediately. Oh, you know what I'm missing? The ability to build harbours. <laughs> <laughs> Whoopsie. We can boost that by working some fish. So let's let's go and quickly get this bonus. But once we've got that, we'll put the harbour down and then I'll start chopping out some of this wood to get the harbour a little bit quicker. Put a couple of turns into the Hansa while I'm at it. Why not? One more builder up in the north. I mean, I'm actually going to move Liang down south to Frankfurt. I think the builders are going to be more needed down here. And then we go medieval fairs into humanism. Oh, invention. So close. So close. There you go. Little bit of gold just forking into this and bam celestial navigation is boosted saves us some science well worth it the most gold that we can get in a route oh from cologne hell yeah that's an amazing route Ugh, any gold per turn we can get at the moment is well worth it oh and one thing coupe is just about to lose this city to loyalty i don't know what's causing the pressure down here but i'm not going to complain at all might levy cardiff's military and go and take it back actually i've got this scout oh no i can't levy cardiff we're not suzerain of cardiff of course we're not we'll be very soon. Yeah, if I can claim that city, oh, that'll feel good. That'll feel very good indeed. What's this about Ursa? Chopping rainforest down? Always does it? No, not me. Uh, Celestial Navigation, and we've just finished an industrial zone logistics project in my capital, which means, oh yeah, I think I'm gonna just need maybe one more to get Imhotep now. 41 points, yeah, that would be enough. So we don't need to do another one in Munich. This is gonna time up perfectly. Let's instead get some basic stuff in my capital. Do we get another dam. We could actually make this Hansa even better if we wanted to. Hmm, I think I'll get a water mill. Th oh, do we get the university? A bit of more science? There's a lot of stuff that we could benefit from, to be honest. No, market. Let's get a market. We haven't got many of those and more trade routes. We've got to the point now in the game where there are trade routes appearing that do quite a lot for us. Like a 12 gold route there. That's big money. Big money. One more Hansa? Oh, almost. Almost. Here is a great scientist. Emily. It's three boosts. Oh, let's Let's see what she can provide. Military science, scientific theory, astronomy. Not bad boosts actually. What do I do with Arkan now? I think we're going to put the commercial hub in and make this industrial zone even better. Why not? Why, I mean, obviously that's what we want to do. <laughs> <laughs> it's not good enough. Let's chop down these woods, see if we can get this harbour going. Oh yeah, look, this is what I mean. 25% production on my first district. What I can actually do is bounce between districts. I can build a bit of the harbour, build a bit of a Hansa. I still haven't got one in the city, so they both get the bonus. It's just as long as I don't finish any of them. It's easy. And bam, one more turn of the medieval era. We have gained Imhotep, which means that Seador has generated. Now we don't need to worry about boosting this anymore. This is perfect. Now, I'm going to go into a deliberate dark age here. I'm not going to try and go for any era score which means finishing this harbor next turn it's a deliberate tactic i want to go into a heroic age which is when you go dark into golden it's just a really good strategy i like it hansa is finished time for an aqua 
product. And here is the Dark Age. So we're going to see what the world is doing around us and how bad this is for our loyalty. Spain has only gone normal, Coupe is normal, Zulu is golden. As you know, heroic and Mapuche is heroic. So in a Dark Age, your loyalty tends to suffer a little bit. You can see Tria is fine. Valadolid is... that is actually struggling a little bit, but it, it's, it's containable, it's controllable. So that's fine. And looking at the loyalty, my other planned locations to settle are fine at the moment. Apart from this one, that is now minus 24. That's pretty bad. <laughs> oh dear. I think it's probably... Oh, is it? Ah, oh, it could be Armani pressure. It could be Armani pressure. That could be what it is. So we need to pick a Dark Age policy that's something that is going to give us a lot of era score. Building districts. It's what Germany does best. We should be able to do it quite a bit. Get at least five or six at the very minimum. Speaking of, I will have this next turn. So next turn we'll get the harbour down. There is a lumber mill which gives me the mass production boost. Not settling at the moment so I'll put campus adjacency in and there are other options. We could do isolationism which I might set up in a little bit actually. Some internal routes that give two food and two production. That's very handy. Naval raider production is quite good. Twilight Valor. These are all very military based and this is if we want to start an inquisition. We don't have a religion. None of them are particularly useful for me at the moment. Let's instead put in limes. Get some walls up. Another governor. As we get closer to the renaissance era we start to discover things like spies. Spies are really really bad unless you can buy them with a promotion. So I'm going to get Victor in and this is what we're going to start to do. Valadolid needs the loyalty right now so I might as well keep Victor in there but later down this tree you get Embrasia. Military units trained in this city start with a three promotion. It's very handy indeed. In fact I'm actually going to put an encampment down on the border with Spain to protect me. Yep that's exactly what I'm doing but also because I want to build military engineers later in the game. And here's humanism. Done. Three era score for a harbour of four adjacency or more. Perfect. Now what we want to do is go for mausoleum. Now I've made a small mistake because my government needs to have a particular card in. 375 gold to change that. Have we got any? Okay. Mercenaries is a good one. It's quick. It's two turns we can change my government around. But what I want to do is build the mausoleum right there, which is good because now we're getting a bit of culture. In fact, actually, I'm going to place Colossus down on this tile as well. So now we're getting eight more culture per turn. Very good. But what this will do is give me the opportunity to change my government around and put in, where is it? Gothic architecture, which gives me 15% production towards wonders. Imhotep has 175 production. Doubled is 350. With 15% on top of that is 502? 503? Sorry, 400. And two. My, my maths, it's more than 400. <laughs> That's the thing you got to do. So a charge of Imhotep with the card in your government will complete a wonder in one go. That's the main takeaway here. I kind of laboured that point a little bit, but I'm sure you understand roughly what I'm saying. This is city number nine, Heidelberg. I'm going to pop my hands down on this tile because it's going to be next to the aqueduct I plan on building and I'll chop it out in a second as well. Keep an eye on luxuries the AI is going to sell you. Often they sell them very, very cheaply and keeping all of your cities content means you're not taking a production, science, culture, malice. Going into negative immunities on a city means you start taking a 10% malice to all yields. It's horrible. So don't do it. Just don't allow yourself to do it. This archer actually is the garrison archer. I'm going to upgrade this one, give myself crossbow. It just increases my city strength, but it means I've now got a really good ranged attack in the city, which I'll take. I ended up finishing my holy site because I was thinking I might as well just start getting the benefit here from all of the culture from the shrine. It's not feed the world, but I could get feed the world later. Better to actually be gaining something from it. Temple would give me four culture there. Yeah, I'm going to do it and then build the university. Oh, this uh, three unit is not looking very tasty. I'm going to move away from that. Thank you. Chopping out the Hansa. Oh, yeah. Oh, Zulu bought out the engineer. Oh, that's really annoying. I was going to earn them naturally, but okay, what are you going to do? Natural philosophy. Right. Moving that out for Gothic architecture, as mentioned before. And now this is the funny thing. Mausoleum of Halicarnassus gives me an extra charge on all of my great engineers. Imhotep had two charges, so it goes down to one and then back up to two, which is wonderful. And because I had 15% production towards wonders, his charge is enough to completely build this wonder. Now, we're going to start to get a lot of era score here for finishing wonders. This is why a heroic age into industrial era is really a powerhouse Germany move that we're looking to go for. Try and get this hands of finish now. I am yeah, suddenly liking this a lot. Back to humanism now. This is looking okay. I still can't work out whether Spain is thinking about attacking me or not. It keeps lining 
troops up on the border. It could just be trying to front up with me, which which is an understandable move, to be fair. I would get that. That's the sort of thing that I would expect them to do. Mass production. Excellent. We've unlocked shipyards, which is really good for my little naval city. Imata, come back to my capital for a second. Something I'd like to do in that city. Commercial hub finished. Oh, yeah. Look at this production now. 14 on that industrial zone. 14. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Plus 7. Plus 5. This is still getting better because the dam and the aqueduct are being finished. We have such an industrious core down this river. It's it's unbelievable. You do love to see it. Let's go workshop, library, market. And actually put the granary before all of that because for whatever reason I have no housing, which is even stranger. And actually I'll do the walls really quickly because that counts as one housing in monarchy. I might as well use my limes. Same for Ulm. Walls, granary, workshop, market. Just in that order. Give me infrastructure. Give it to me quick. Thank you. Okay, this settler is not going to be as effective as I hoped they would be. Oh, minus 24. It's really bad. <laughs> <laughs> That's really bad. Never mind. Chop out that Hansa and immediately get this aqueduct sorted. Can't settle on that little band. Can't settle there. This is an option. I could go and settle that, but I just, I thought it would be a bit too cramped, but maybe it would be worth it. We'll head out this way. Yeah, you never know what we find. We might find something useful. Yeah, Munich. I'm going to actually start building up Adana. This is something that I put down ages ago and never thought I'd finish, but the AI hasn't built it. So with a charge of Imitap, we will use it. This is what I was talking about earlier, where I didn't want my tactics to be in any way related to wonders. Now, Etim and Anki on this star, I know, I know that would have been brilliant, but it was a little bit too map situational. This strategy is not. Using your engineering points to pick up Imitap and then to get any wonders that are left over. Apadana's really fun in my capital. That actually gives me four extra envoys. So, the very start, I'm going to go one, two, three, four, pick up Zanzibar, which gives cinnamon and cloves, which is two extra luxuries, which keeps me very happy. Oh, annoying, there's still that bug where I didn't get to see the visit visibility around Zanzibar. Even though I've taken over the suzerainship, that's what should have happened. Never mind. Okay, next up, Kilwa. If I put Kilwa there, it'll give me two culture from this campus. It'll also remove a really good tile, whereas if I put it here, it won't give me any culture, but it's actually a worse tile, so it's in a way better. That's what I'm going to do. I like the fact that Munich is already up to 37 production. Starting to build up a bit of the base now. I said it turned 125 to 150, we'd start to choose which direction we were going to take this game. Oh, that was a level two scout, and it was just a total misclick on where I moved them. That is slightly frustrating, but they are now dead. As so I just buy another workshop. Workshops are very important buildings for me. What victory conditions have we got available to us? Well, at the moment we have one, two, three, four campuses, which is not a bad little location. What, what is the AI doing really well? Well, the Zulu is actually winning a culture victory, and they only have a hundred culture per turn. So a tourism victory is not a bad idea. Culture victory. We could use our production and go for that, or we could fork into a science victory. I think either way, what we're going to do is still not commit for a little bit. I'm going to actually just make sure that all of these hub cities have an industrial zone for obviously industry, a commercial hub and an aqueduct for the spine of industry that sort of connects up into it. And then I'm going to make sure we have a campus and or a theatre square. If I can get all cities to plug that sort of stuff in, we can start to really boost our tourism and our science up without needing to worry too much about anything else. And Imhotep, I need you to go back to Trier because I am absolutely going to start to rebuild the Colossus. Now, two more envoys. Let's pick up Cardiff again. Thank you. It's a good city-state to have on side. Yeah, Mapuche owning this city is going to be a little bit annoying, but I'm sending over my settler now. I'm going to use it as a bit of a exploratory unit. I'll make my way around. I think I will go and settle this area just because I think it's not bad for industry and I can put a couple of decent districts down there. Oh, an encampment. That's really handy in this city. Now, barracks give you melee and range. Stable gives you cavalry and siege. Generally speaking, I would say stable is better for you if you are attacking, because you want to use siege weaponry, you want to use cavalry to raid and pillage and do all of that sort of thing. Barracks is generally better for defense, because ranged units are easy to defend with. So we'll go barracks, we'll go university like that. I saw a flood, I panicked, and Spain was the one to get hit by it. I like that. That, that makes me feel a little bit better. Actually, one thing I could use James and St. George for now, now that we've got mausoleum, is to put walls into cities that have no housing. So Frankfurt is a good example. It will get a bit of housing.
housing with the aqueduct, but it's a good way of making sure that a city continues to grow. There you go, there's Colossus. One trade route capacity and a permanent source of culture in this city, which is just lovely to see. Lots and lots of culture. And it's a huge bronze statue. Who doesn't want that in their empire? It's even on fire. Come on. And it has a Stonehenge. I mean, it's, it's just every wonder in one. So I can trade with Zulu, who is not my friend. Spain, who is not my friend. I can probably trade with Mapuche very soon. How's my relationship with Zulu going? Yeah, doesn't like the fact I don't have many cores and armies. I mean, I don't know what cores are, but apart from that, I totally understand their malice towards me. I just don't want to go for internal trade routes. I, I think I would rather go for the gold. So let's go for the gold here. I think I'm going to get the boost to two harbors. So I'm going to just have a look at military engineering briefly. Oh, University of Sankor was built. I was going to build that for the memes. I even had a desert. Oh, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> this is supposed to be a serious guide. I mean, of course, serious guides, everybody should build a University of Sankor all the time. We all know that. Oh, this dam and aqueduct have now finished. So we've got another plus nine, another plus ten. I mean, come on. German industry. Eleven, eight, fourteen, nine, ten. Oh, beautiful Hansa. Beautiful. Let's build the walls. Huzzah! And get another trade route to Hansa. I think I'm going to just take over Hansa and use it as a bit of a Visselbanken city-state. That would be nice for me. In the meantime, we're picking up walls in a lot of places now, picking up the market. It's increasing my trade routes, getting my gold, getting my industry. Everything is starting to fold into one beautiful nebulous mess right now, which is wonderful. And I've even got more luxuries. I was thinking about buying a strategic in order to get a man at arms to charge down on this city. There's only one way in. It would have been very difficult to take, so decided against it. Humanism. Oh, I'm very excited to see this now. Okay, Republican Legacy gives me an extra housing and an extra immunity in every city that has a district. Every city has a Hansa. Y you want that in your government? all the time. I'm going to give up the 15% bonus on production towards wonders. It's a little bit more random in order to pick up invention. Four engineer points per turn. Brilliant. Two engineer points for every workshop I own. Let me show you just how many workshops I own. One, two, three, four, five. So that'll be 10, 14 extra engineering points. I will double my engineering points and we will start to get all of them all of the time. Oh yeah, it is lovely. And yep, please can we have our alliances back up? Brilliant, that's all good. I could have probably got a cultural alliance in order to settle there thinking about it, but I didn't. It's fine, it's the Dark Age. We'll just ride out the Dark Age. Now we've got humanism, let's go for diplomatic service. Now monarchy is giving me extra housing from walls and a pretty good government in terms of policy cards for me, but Merchant Republic is also a very good option because 15% production towards districts, that actually stacks with my Pantheon and it means I could one chop out most Hansas. Because of my Pantheon, I'm not going to double stack it, but that is something I'm very tempted to do. Spain, look, you, you keep denouncing me. Just either attack me or stop denouncing me. I don't care what you do, as long as you just chill. Chill just a little bit. Oh, there's some sort of storm going in in the north. We will ignore that and just say, I'm sure it's fine. Military engineering. Did we get any niter? Spain has got some. That's a little worrying. And there's some in the desert. Okay, at least we've got at least one source of it. There's some more down there as well. Now I will unlock castles, which is actually going to give me some tourism. All of the tourism comes from the culture on my wonders and theatre squares, anything that has adjacency. So for instance, plus eight culture on the Apadana, that would be eight tourism. That's why I'm thinking culture victory may be a decent option. But one other way of getting a culture victory late game is to go for synthetic materials and build the biosphere. In order to do this, you need very strong science. It's the most effective way of winning a tourism victory in the entire game, but it can be a little bit tricky to pull off without science. So that's why I'm thinking campuses and theatre squares in most cities. Oh yeah, look at that. 29 engineer points per turn. Oh, you love to see it. And and even more now that we've got workshops. Workshops everywhere. Everywhere, I say. And monuments. Awesome. So now that I've got diplomatic service, what we can do is at some point put Machiavellianism in to get ourselves a spy. And we can put Visselbanken in in order to get some good trade routes to my city state friends. I'm not allied to any of them at the moment and I've got to wait a little bit before we can ally to them so there's no point in rushing that just yet. I'm going to leave my government alone but the options are there. I'm going to go mercantilism however because I'd like plus one. Actually no not the camps we don't need that it's the lumber mills that's what we'd like. Lumber mills on rainforests and Belibo. I need you over to my Kilwa spot. Thank you. This is city number 10. I did say I wanted to get about 10 cities. There you go. Manifested is my second harbour. I should be able to cut the that out, I think. Anyone building walls right now? Not right now. So I will put veterancy in again. There you go. Lovely. Did you see that? Craftsman gives me, oh, 60 extra production. That's 120 production, my 
my industrial zones are giving me right now. That's massive. There is castles. Medieval walls, very useful as well. But here is one charge towards Kilwa. 300 production. I think we should leave me about two turns left. Oh no, one turn. We'll finish it next turn. Oh yeah. Remember to keep placing your wonders. Taj Mahal, for instance, and Alhambra. Lots of bonus culture. Leonardo da Vinci. I like to call Leonardo da Vinci George R. R. Martin. I mean, the resemblance is uncanny. It's just a shame he doesn't build a massive wall. So now, if I roll over my turn, we get Kilwa. Kilwa is one of the best wonders in the game. First off, you get three envoys. Well, no, that's a lie. I get five envoys because I've also got Apadana in this city and that gives you two. So five extra envoys immediately. Now, my capital gets a 15% boost to the type bonuses provided by a city-state. So I've got a trade and an industrial city-state at the moment. So 15% extra gold and 15% production towards districts, buildings, wonders. If I can pick up two city-states, I get that bonus to every city, including my capital, which would get it again. So now already I can go one, two, three, four, and I've now got 15% bonus gold across my empire. And now I'm allied to Hunza, which is making my trade routes even better by making them longer and stretchier and beautiful. I'm gonna just save this envoy for a second until I can work out whether or not the AI is going to let me keep these city-states. And if it doesn't, I'll just steal them back. Oh, ho, ho, almost got this harbor through, almost got the harbor through, and that'll give me cartography. In fact, I can do, mm, no, I'm just waiting on cartography. Then we'll go square rigging, industrialization. Still selling all of my gold, uh, not all my gold, all my diplo favor. I'm just gonna actually sell a little bit to Zulu to get some gold per, like actual gold in the bank. And now I can treat Munich to a university, which gives me just a bunch more science. What else does my capital want to do now? A theater square. Yeah, that's not a bad idea. We could get a nice plus four down here. I don't mind that at all, you know, especially because I could still build a harbor in my capital and then go for a wonder alongside it like Great Lighthouse. Yeah, let's go theater square. Oh, Coupe is determined to settle down here. <laughs> <laughs> that is determination and I respect that. Give it up. Give it up as a bad, bad job. That's what I would say. Arkin's doing well now. It's got a university. It's starting to tech up really nicely. Although saying that, what I might do is just actually use one charge of Bi Sheng to get the boost to printing, which is lovely. Not what I really needed that. But now I can put a theatre square down and that would just help me a little bit here. Let's go for one on that tile. I haven't chopped the rainforest out. I know. Maybe next time. Let's swap the rainforest into Mangedeberg and and cartography. Oh, we're going to start teching up now. I keep jumping between culture in my holy sites and food in my holy sites. They're both good options, but the religious battle going on in my land, it's pretty mad. Don't overthink it. Next up, square rigging. Three year score for a magnificent theatre square in my capital. Nice plus four there. Apadana's now giving me 10 culture. Love it. Of course it is. And actually, I'm just going to check the market quickly to see if there are any super cheap great works of writing. Sometimes there are. In fact, actually, I can buy a great work of writing for almost the same price as a monument. Very nice. Good to know. I've still got a couple of monuments I need to build in a couple of my cities. I'm trying to be a little bit better at it this game. It's not always possible to build everything, but you can have a pretty decent go. Another university finished in Cologne. Get a granary going, and then I'll start to focus on just producing more traders to make sure we're filling up and using everything there. Again, leave the queue empty. Chop down rainforest. I decided to cut two rainforests down around this campus. It's not ideal for the actual science, but it means I can work on just a couple of these chops for this city. Oh, Alhambra got beaten. That was two turns away. That was two turns away, and I just used two charges of my engineer on it. Oh, that is so frustrating. Anyway, era score for the campus. It means that basically we get one three building, which, which is okay, I guess, but that is really annoying. I was trying to expand my government out there. Okay, we'll finish the university. Let's get a library going in this city. Zanzibar was taken from me. Okay, yeah, that's hit my gold relatively hard. So I want Zanzibar back. We'll grab that in a little bit. Oh, another workshop. Another chunk of engineer points per turn. Actually, speaking of, Leonardo da Vinci is coming up after we do this voting. I would love it if I could culture bomb. And normally, luxury policy, this is always option B, and it's always the option that is the most populous on the map, which apparently is pearls. So I'll pick pearls. It's not ideal for me, really. But it tends to be the one people go for. Oh, no, coffee. Oh, interesting. I think I actually had coffee, so I'll take that. Right. 
Right, Leonardo da Vinci. Workshops provide three culture and you get a three Eureka. He is amazing. I've already got about five or six workshops. Already that's a huge chunk of culture. So if you look, I've got 101 and if I just let that reset, 122. He just gave me 20 culture per turn. Huge. And I've still got another charge of him. Even better. And actually, we can now put in Visselbank in. My trade routes to the city-state are going to get even better really quickly now because Hansa, yep, look at that. Two food and two production to my trade routes to Hansa. I'm going to start making sure that we can get all of my cities making these as fast as possible. Next up, civil engineering. Public works is the better version of the builder card. Gives you a 15%, no, 30% production towards builders and the extra charges. And now we can put farms on hills. That's brilliant. I love that. That's such a quality of life thing. It means you can get some really big farms. You can see this is why I'm giving myself a little bit of space just on the edges of my cities. Huge farm circles just to keep the population nice and high. See, one thing I was going to do was get these two galleys and upgrade them to caravels. Send them out into the world and explore. Find everything. I've already hit the golden age. I've still got at least 18 turns left. It was always going to be a good one for me. But yeah, I want to go and see, is the world round? Who else is out there? Good questions. Very good questions indeed. Ugh, I was going to put the dam on this tile in order to improve my hands. I ended up going for the better theatre square. I don't know if that's the better option overall. I'll just have to assume it is for now. Let's go for the other dam there. Yeah, I'm, I'm working some really good tiles in Munich. I reckon we can make this a huge city, especially if I keep getting traders into it. Lovely. Second charge of Da Vinci. Steel is boosted and my culture goes up even more. 143 per turn now. He said it couldn't be done, but we're hitting the big heights. Turn 150. Yeah, as I say, we kind of want to pick our win condition by now. Th this deity guide has all been about building an industrious middle. I mean, look look at what we've done. This is huge. Still building theater squares, still building uh, campuses. In terms of tech, I'm on 29 techs, Zulu's on 32, and they're in third, and I'm in second last, so we're right in the pack. We've got options. I think we've still got options here. And oh yes, Hunza, route to camp capital. Excellent. Go out, Mr. Caravel. Find me a new world. A lovely world with other people on it. Working a lighthouse in Trier. A lighthouse with mausoleum is a good combo because every coastal tile has an extra faith, culture, and science. So if it gets extra food as well, it become very sustainable tiles. Instantly builds a bank and a market in this district. That's a good merchant. I think I have markets in all of my commercial hubs, so I'm just going to build the three bank in Munich. So I'm getting the bonus gold from Kilwa. That's where I'll keep it. Library? Oh yeah, I science is now beginning to creep up above 100 per turn. It's not particularly high, but as I say, it's the production we've got, which is the big important thing. Bermuda Triangle. We found Bermuda Triangle. Oh, now if I send a boat through this, not only is it like the coolest thing to do, but that boat will always have a permanent plus one movement per turn, which is really cool. I'm tempted to go and do that instantaneously. And there is civil engineering. In you go, Mr. Public Works. Excellent stuff. And we've hit the end of the engineering great people for this era, so we don't need invention for a little bit. I'll show you what I mean by that in a second. I'm going to put natural philosophy in just to give me 11 science per turn. Do I want to do that? No, I'm going to put trade confederation in. Split it between science and culture. Get a little bit of both. There's 100 science. Now, what I meant by that was we have the last Renaissance era engineer coming up. That means it's going to flip to industrial era. Ada Lovelace, Gustav Eiffel, James Watt. They're really expensive. So it's worth just waiting until the era and we don't need to rush them immediately. Yeah, I've got to go for Bermuda Triangle. It's too tempting. Oh, and I've actually gone just straight down here. Governor titles. Okay, Victor. Garrison commander. I've got all kinds of defensive formations. If Spain were to try and attack this city, they would regret it very quickly. Industrialization. We're not the first to industrialize, but we will be the best at industrializing. You'll just have to trust me on that one. Let's go colonialism. I want to get to natural history. There's four envoys along this route, but it unlocks water parks and zoos. The first way of keeping all of your cities really, really happy permanently. Yeah, Spain are keeping troops on my border yet again. I don't mind it. I just, again, it's like attack me or don't. There's the beast of metal casting for having two crossbows. And I'm going to just build ancient walls briefly. Do I trust Spain? No. I, I don't think they'll attack me, but I don't trust them 100%. So we're not going to take that risk. Thing is, I have a lot of industry. So if I do get attacked, I can build units really quickly. So the second dam is now complete. This may be a little bit of a strange move, but I'm going to put a zero adjacency harbor down in my capital. Now I've already got a trade route from my capital so there's no extra trade route to it but I would like to get my capital access to the sea means I've just got a lot more trade routes available from it. Starting to explore around the world now. This is a bit late but better to know. Better to know. How is the AI doing compared to me? I've got 10 cities and 
through population. Spain is sat on 10 and 47, 8 and 74 for Shaka, 1 and 11 for Kupe. Kupe is still just rocking the one city challenge. I have no idea why. Lataro, 9 and 69. So cities wise, we're doing okay. We're just a little bit cramped on space, but that's okay. We, we can figure this out. Trading again with Hunza. Yeah, Spain has attacked me, which means that they have actually attacked Kupe and Lataro. Oh, Spy. Pingala was just neutralized in Munich. That is really, really annoying because I hadn't built a spy yet. But that's something that happens to me every game. Don't feel too bad for me. This is what I was talking about, about engineers. So we'll buy this one. It'll go to industrial era. And yeah, we suddenly need 545 points for Eiffel. We'll wait a little bit. We can work on Eiffel in our own time. So what we'll do is we'll just sell a little bit of resource, some horses, some diplo favor. Now I'll go to the market and say, hey, hey, can I have some iron? Don't need 58 of it. All I need is nine. Three gold per turn will be lovely. Thank you so much. Now I'm going to upgrade to mana arms, which just gives this city a little bit of resistance. Ancient walls is looking okay. I got a one turn thing. Naval tradition. We'll pick that up really quickly just to change my government over. Um, This city is going to be fairly easy to defend. I'll pull my warrior back because I don't think he's going to survive any assault. But the crossbow, yeah, that'll give them a bit of a headache. And we'll move you down into here, just luring the knights into my cities that have defenses. Now, Munich, get angry. Get angry, I say. Start making pikemen. You start making a pikeman as well. We'll put a card in my government in a second to boost this through. So as you can see, Spain is at war with everybody except Zulu. And Zulu won't join in war. How boring. Okay, the knights are just going to come flooding into my land and start attacking my warriors. Of all of the things you could attack, that feels mean. This is a very scattered and chaotic AI attack, to be honest. Not entirely sure what their target is. I don't even know if they know what their target is. What we do have is a kill. Sorry, Trebuchet. Not going to help you. Man, I'm just going to pull it out to tempt and goad an attack into me. I have walls everywhere, so we're going to do some decent damage to the AI. This is an engineer. I'm just going to get it to randomly stand in places next to the enemy. Hopefully, that will again goad them into attacking great people which can't die. It's a little trick you can often do. And I'm going to just keep sending trade routes here. They might get pillaged, but it's a risk I'm willing to take. Another pike mum. We found a bunch of stuff. Firstly, Nubia. Hello. Honored to meet you. Love to sample the hospitality. We're going to just absolutely try and charm the pants off everyone here. We've also found Taruga. Science from libraries and universities. Oh, that is something we have been desperately looking for for some time. Right. First of all, Nubia, would you like to trade? Of course you would. We can actually get some really good trading in now. Yeah, these are the sort of deals. Yes. Give me your gold. Thank you. I'll send you an embassy. We've got open borders. Declare friendship? No, but I'll convince them to be a friend in a second i'm sure see what spain does tria is the only city i'm really worried about oh they're just going straight for munich straight for the capital i like the braveness the the ballsiness of this attack is considerable it's all a bit futile but i like it let's get rid of veterancy and i'm going to put in feudal contract because that's 50 percent bonus production towards my pikemen and we're going to switch in natural philosophy because i'm getting a lot more from my campuses now that i have more campuses yeah nubia wants to be my friend Excellent. I'll make you an economic ally. Only four gold. I wonder if there's a better one for you. No, she'll value every single one the same. Yeah, economic ally will do. Thank you. Who else is this? India. 200 science. I think you might be the tech leader. Honored to meet you. Love to sample your hospitality. No, you're not the tech leader, but I'm only five behind you, which is actually quite reassuring. And again, it's all about lucrative trade. Luxuries for luxuries for open borders. Amazing. These are the sort of deals that make us very happy give you an embassy. I'm nowhere near you. So Changra Gupta tends to like people that are really far away. So that's a good thing. Yeah, hopefully another ally. Have you met Spain? No, nobody's met. But everyone that's met Spain apart from Zulu has gone to war with Spain now. And Zulu doesn't want to get involved. Zulu, this is a really peaceful Zulu. This is very strange to watch. Normally Zulu is all over the war. And finally, a very special shout out goes to Glorious Petra, Matthew Wilkinson, Paul Coffey, Portland, Clint Hennis, Scott Stratton, Major King Kong, Skeptical Bear, Cinnamon Beard, Petra Ryan, Radiatore, Private Selection, Genoa Salami, Callum Billy, Garrett Gowan, Polar Bear El Truant, Creston, RB Hedged, Mushkin Mandeltort, Debel Time, Burial, I'm Daft, Gooberman, Dr. Bobby, Polar Waller Bear, Mixamatosis, NTG Golfman, Victor McPupster, Indigenous 68, Technology Poet, Teddy Zursa, Zaf, Barnaby Rex, Sharky Bates, Charlie Bears. Thank you everyone for your support. See you all in the next video. Goodbye.